are back. 2020 NXL Las Vegas Open here. Craig Ranch Regional Park. Maddie Marshall alongside Rich Telford right now are defending series title holders. San Antonio X Factor going to be taking on New York Extreme. X Factor did drop a game uh, in their first one to the Ironman. They did come back and kind of beat the brakes off the Outlaws to get some redemption and go one and one. Uh, so right now they got two more games to go. New York Extreme, if they can find a way to beat them, they'd go two and two, might have a chance to move on. Uh, sorry, they'd go three and one and move on. So even if they lose, they still could have a chance. Also in this set, it's going to be Revo, who uh, had a victory over the Ironman. Um, and looked good in it. Yeah, and they did look good. And now they are going to be playing the Outlaws. So that is the setting of the stage here. Got about 10 seconds to go before the start of this first point here. Is Revo Extreme. two and one now? Uh, let's see. Revo lost to New York Extreme, beat the Ironman, and they still have two more games okay, to okay. play. So they're one and one. Gotcha. Billy Renaccio, Snake on the break, gets eliminated. Archie there fills behind him in Snake Tower. Nobody down for New York. Five on four advantage here for New York. New York's been struggling a little bit. Yeah, well, the, uh, New York. It's a tough field, man. This is a very tough field. It seems everyone says that it's a some a, a fun field, but it's definitely a tough field. Yeah, so looks like New York Extreme up a body right now. Yeah, so up a body here and now making a move over. Oh, losing a body. So. It's a four-on-four -four situation. Billy Bernaccia coming off early here for San Antonio X Factor. We're looking at Archie Montemayor, their dead center on your screen. Four-on-four four here. Yeah, Rainey Stanzik in the back, and uh, looks like a little tactical retreat, actually, for Harris Hussein. Yeah, you don't see that very side. often for him, Harris. No, he loves to go forward. Yeah, like, I didn't know he had a reverse. And now he's going to go back out to the back corner bunker. So he went, he went backwards to go laterally, to eventually go forward. Yeah. Harris has some great timing. Pat Kraft yep. is at that stand-up. And they allow Archie Montemayor to filter out through the big gap to make it to the back corner bunker on the snake side. Guys like Harris are super important to this sport because they're bigger dudes, but they can they show all the other bigger dudes that, yeah, you can be a big dude, you just got to have wheels and timing, man. Yeah, or you don't even really have to have, you don't, You can't be super slow, but you don't have to be a speed demon. No. Uh, you just have to, it's all about timing yeah, and timing makes up a lot, mental for a lot aptitude of speed. for the gunfight. Somebody with timing and speed, Archie Montemayor filling snake one, going to snake three. Archie don't Mont know if anybody saw him go in. No one's been shooting at him. Archie, Mon Archie oh. Montemayor, Golden Barrel Award winner last year. Gets a G from the middle can. Archie also a uh, overall season Top Gun Award winner back in 2013. And here comes Archie now, going to push up. No one's stopping him. And now they get a body out wide to help uh, yeah, that was put some really brakes on Archie. Really good fill. Archie communicates that they went out wide. But he gets the center kill. Yeah, gonna, yeah. Archie getting that kill on uh, Delano in that back center, and then he's going to get into that insert lane here. Here comes Hennessy. Hennessy's going to run the highway. I don't. Yeah, he didn't find him. Finally finds Archie, and no one has picked up him yet. Might be able to trade out with Rainey. No, Rainey, Rainey saves it. Saves it, but doesn't it doesn't save Archie's body. But they, New York Extreme loses Harris Hussein yeah. as well. I think it's a two on zero with the Extreme being the zero. Might be one left on the drill side, but I don't think so. I think it's. X Factor 2, New York Extreme 0. But again, on this field, oh, no, X Factor's got three bodies. On this field, it's so easy to lose bodies from across the field. You don't want to make a mistake and assume. There's a camera shot of Rainy Staz, Stazak saving that point over there. Yeah, that getting that kill on Hennessy, because if Hennessy had gone through and blasted both yeah. Archie and Rainy, that yeah. would have maybe been a little bit of a different story. Well, if Hennessy had kept going forward to get Rainy instead of cutting into that temple, I don't think he knew Rainy was there. Here it is on the replay. So Hennessy looked that way, kept his, keeps his eyes up. He's trying to find Archie. He has to run past him, pump the brakes, stop, go inside, get that shot on Archie. Switches, but if he had continued to go yep. inside, he would have traded it out with Rainy. But he thought that that was the only body left. Uh, just, you know, very close for Hennessy there. Yeah. It was a really good move, but a good shot by Reed. For a four-on-one, that was a great play. Because <laughs> <laughs> he got one, he could have got two and yeah, one. Yeah, he could. If, if, I mean, yes, it would have been difficult, but um, would have been a two-on-one situation with him onto X Factor's side of the field and him right by the buzzer, too. Yep. Outlaws on the right, Rev on the left. Out of the two, I think Revo's probably got the advantage here. First point. Both teams with good breakouts, five on five. Out, uh, Revo attacking on the Drito side. Outlaws going up the center of the field. 
Berkeley getting checked there in the tower. He looks like he's okay. Yeah, Berkeley's definitely alive. One of the taller guys out here in this league. And that means it's a real good lane to shoot down into the snake. No one in the snake currently for Revo. Revo's had multiple players step up for them over on the snake side, though, here at this event. Uh, they Looks like the Outlaws are losing a body. And now they're going to try to get Berkeley in the snake to get behind Dave Haber. Yeah, at the same time, Revo's pushed up to their 40-yard Dorito over there. So he's going to start putting some pressure on the center guys for the Outlaws. And if the Outlaw guys don't take this advantage to go down the snake, that Dorito player is probably going to win the game for Revo. Oh, there's one kill. Max Trailer coming off for Revo from the center. And so Berkeley and Haber as the duo for the Outlaws. I think it's a three on three. Unless I'm missing a body. Both teams with a player in the snake. Center tower, second snake player for the Outlaws. Right cake for the Outlaws and Dorito four for Revo. Yeah, Revo in really good position with Frank all the way up on that D side of the field, up into D4. Yeah. Berkeley's got to be careful because he's going to put pressure across on him and try to catch him in the pack when Berkeley's going to fight down the tape. And if Haber gets up and moves past the 50 yard line, he is going to have to be worried a little bit about that angle. He'll also have a shot on that angle, though, yeah. too. Drula. I like that fill over for Drilla. Yeah, Drilla getting in with Omara, and then there goes Berkeley coming off. Now, I didn't see who shot Berkeley. Could have been either one. It's actually four bodies left alive oh, right yeah. now for Revo. Got that sneaky in the corner. So four on two here. Revo in pretty good control of this first point. Outlaws look good. Made some good moves. And Omara just destroyed Haber. Yeah, it's going to come down to a two on one, which is, you know, about as close as you can get. Yeah, so, yeah, and getting shot from that back center. That's Davidson in that back corner or back center bunker here for the Outlaws. That cake. And Frank comes off as well, so, but they are going to get that kill. Man, this is just such a crazy feel with the way bodies are dying because there's another body coming off here. So it is a one on one with uh, D3 hot right now for the Outlaws. It's just, it, it is, I've watched a lot of paintball in my day, and I don't think I've ever seen a field that's this chaotic with bodies dropping all over the place right next to each other. Can we just keep playing this field layout? Yeah, <laughs> right? Can this Until it gets boring, and then we can come up with a new one? Because I feel like anything past this is going to be a, a disappointment. A downgrade? <laughs> yeah. Like, oh, hey, Jason, just so you know, new field design sucks. Oh, it's Stapula. So Stapula saving the point so far, at least for the Outlaws. They were in a low-body situation, uh, but getting those cross-field kills, pretty huge here. And then now Stapula's going to improve his position. He's... Locked up right now. Oop. Oh, and he's going to win that gunfight yep. here. Oh, man. That'd that give uh, Outlaws a little bit of pep in their step. Yeah, so the Outlaws going to win the first point that they play here against Revo. A little bit of a surprise there, but that's what the Outlaws need. Put a little, a little gas in their engines. Yeah, so here we go with X Factor. Billy Bernaccia, Rainey. Meter, Alex, and LJ Woodley. Yeah, so. Or that, or that's Archie, sorry. Yeah, starting five right now for San Antonio X Factor. And that's just so nice to be able to have the roster that Ryan Brand has. <laughs> there's, there's three or four teams here that have about seven teams worth of players. Between Houston <laughs> yeah. Heat, Impact, and X Factor, you could you could build five or six top teams with those with those rosters. So, and I didn't even throw damage in there. Who's also got a really deep so roster? There's the roster, right? Yeah, for sure. There's a decent amount of teams going deep, but it does help as long as you can get guys playing time, keep them happy. So now on the breakout here, looks like going into Snake. Billy Bernacci going to stay alive. Hits the deck, crawls up. Yep. And Harris Billy, Hussein Billy seemed to have figured it out. Harris, although he's going to get a check. Harris Hussein rumbling up in that center of the field. Billy gets checked, and he looks like he's okay. So it's five on five. Tim, Tim Stetzel in a good spot right now, and Snake three to mirror the move from Bernaccia. So important to mirror that Snake. It really slows down that other player. Keeps him guessing, like, hey, is he going to come get me? Should I look inside? Should I look outside? And you're constantly questioning what you should be doing. And he keeps crawling up. Stetzel trying to get the drop on Bernaccia, and he's going to come across and blast Billy, and Billy's going to try to trade with him, and he does, does get the yeah. trade. Because although Billy's eyes were looking left, his gun was right, so as soon as anything came around that corner, he just started pulling that trigger. Four on four here. A little bit of an advantage now with uh, the Outlaws able to get into the snake there, or excuse me, the New York 
able to get into the snake. Multiple tackle retreats here for Harris Hussein. Ooh, but I thought Harris was going to get a penalty here with that ref grab that hopper. Yeah, able to stay stay alive in there though. And he's containing. He's con he's keeping uh, X Factor player in that tower there. Looks like it might be meter from coming over and filling the snake. Now, for New York to take advantage of that, they need to get down and crawl down the snake with their snake player. Oh, snake player wraps around, shoots meter. Yeah, that's Will Hennessy. So nice job by Hennessy here. Now just go all the way, Hennessy. Don't stop at snake three and look across. Yeah, there's really nothing stop. I don't know why Hennessy is pumping the brakes right now. There's no one in front of him. The closest guy to him is the back center bumper. Yeah, but I see so many Which players do this. I just mean, he might not know the count. That's the only explanation. Because Hennessy's an aggressive guy. Now body dropping off right now. That's going to force the concession. Yeah. So we got a tie game right now. I just feel like that th these ones uh, that aren't trying to push down the snake need to need to play with a little bit more risk and a little bit more urgency. If nothing else, just to entertain us. <laughs> yeah, it's And like, I don't think that's too much to ask. I really think that he just didn't know where those bodies were, so he didn't want to risk it. Yeah, well, he should ask. Yeah, because Harris seemed to know exactly yeah, what the Harris was. was. And, and Harris, Harris was, knew he was containing. And Harris was right next to him. And, and containing, containing, containing. But that's also on Harris a little bit, because yeah. Harris needs to look at Will He's and be like, yelling, hey, hit go, the go, deck go, and go, crawl go. up. Hey, what's yeah. stopping you? Always yeah. ask your guys in front of you or beside you, hey, what is stopping you from moving up? Maybe I can help. And Harris knew the count, because as soon as that last body dropped, he knew what had happened, knew they won the point. So he basically knew that there was no one in yep. front of Hennessy. Yeah, when I was, uh, the last match, I was setting up the camera, so I was, behind, I think, behind the Ironman. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure who was playing. I think it was Ironman. But as soon as they shot the outside guy, the inside guy was, go, 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 all the way, all the way, all the way, all the way. He's just over the top shooting, and that's what you need from your inside guy. Because as soon as your head goes down the snake, you lose all of that. You don't know where anybody is anymore. So 10 seconds to go before the start of this next point here. Outlaws up over Revo on paper. This should be Revo's game, but... That's not always how it works out here. Still a lot of time left to go. What's a little bit of a longer first point. And see here on our cable cam as we're watching the Outlaws break. These teams have switched sides. Outlaws now on the red side of the field. And then looks like they're going to lose, uh, or uh, looks like uh, Revo's going to lose Zupa. So both teams have lost a body. It's four on four. Oh, Revo going to lose another body as well. And Zupa's been playing field. well in the snake for them. Berkeley going in the snake. One body advantage here for the Outlaws. Zupa taking the walk. Another Revel guy filling the corner, but a Revel player from the Drill side taking the walk. Fred Berkeley in the snake here for the Outlaws, and yeah, Revo is just dropping left and right. Outlaws look good here. Yeah, through two points so far, they definitely look good. They still have to finish this one out. As I say, there's still a body left in the back corner bunker for Revo, but not anymore. So yeah, the Outlaws here. And again, Revo has two games today. They went one and one yesterday. And since the Outlaws are the last ranked team in their division, you could say this would be an important game here for Rebels. Super important. So, yeah. This is, you always want to be, teams ranked lower. Look, you'd like to win, beat everyone and win every game. It doesn't always work that way, but. There's some games you have to win. Yeah, but Outlaws and Revo refusing to concede, just going to burn a little bit more of this time off. You can see all the Bo's bodies still left alive. That's why we're saying the Outlaws look so good through these first two points. Keeping, and Stapula stepped up in that first one, I think, to beat Pike out. Over there on the uh, D side in a one-on-one. -on -one. I guess it's only two points, but I feel like Revo should probably concede this point here at some some point. I think they're over there talking about the next game instead of concede. Oh yeah, here come they, they're running over now to concede yeah. the point. Yeah, Pike's like, oh wait a second. <laughs> Super important to pay attention to that, guys. We lost this one. They're they're just gonna let the time run down because they have a lead. Yeah. <laughs> We're the ones that need the time. So tie game right now between New York Extreme, San Antonio X Factor, 10:47 left. A couple decent longer points out here in this one. Again, on paper, though, you think this would be 2-0 right now. Yeah, but that doesn't matter. We're right? throwing the paper away. <laughs> Three seconds. So, uh, like what we saw out of Extreme, um, I like the move from Stetzel. I like the Hennessy was close. Yep. Harris is looking really good. You know, Harris dropped a lot of weight in the offseason. That's Harris with the X on the front of his goggles, uh, pumping his guys up. But Harris dropped it. He said, he told me 26 pounds. He told me 26 pounds. So according to Bo Milo, his boy, he said he's only really lost maybe 10 pounds. 15, 16 pounds. Yeah, 15, 16 pounds. Or he was lying, or he was about, lying how about how much he weighed previously. <laughs> yeah. Basically what Bo said is no matter what, he's lying. <laughs> X Factor with four in the pocket and one outside. Haven't seen that breakout yet, but I like it. And Ooh. Jesse Stevens is going to try the toll. to take ground and gets taken out, trying to make it into the snake. Meter makes a good fill, though, sees just to get shot, feels over. Harris walking off for New York Extreme, so that's a big kill here for X Factor. Again, though, uh, uh, did he miss LJ going up there? 
LJ, oh, no, he, no, caught he him. did not. So, I was like, man, yeah. that's a really bad shot. Nice job by uh, Stetzel, Tim Stetzel, to get that yeah. kill on one of the big killers up the middle for X Factor. And Woodley now body coming off of Colt Roberts. Well, and I was just going to complain about Stetzel stopping in that snake three and looking inside, but he happened to do it at the right time because LJ, he caught LJ making that move. Alex Martinez out there as well. Alex makes the nice bump across to get into snake one. Meter in the corner, Alex in snake one. Oh, Alex might be getting bunkered right here. No, Meter's going to save him. I don't know if uh, no, Stetzel... I think they conceded it. Yeah, they conceded the point. Yeah, so that was uh, another yeah. nice point here for uh, New York Extreme. What you don't want to let the Outlaws do is get momentum going because they feed on it, man. They start feeding on it and playing better and better. Can't hear you. You can, you can hear him in the pit now. So let's check in again with our sideline reporter, Lauren Kelly. Seconds. Thanks, yeah, as we're seeing, X-Factor does not know all the answers yet. They are still trying to figure out this field layout and the best way to play it. During that last point, Archie Montemayor and Rainey Stanzik were kind of debating what they need to do. Archie felt Rainey needs to play a bit more aggressive, get down the field, but Rainey said his job is to lock down the Dorito side, and he's not gonna change his job until he sees that some of his other players on the snake side are safe to make their moves. So we'll see if they can start figuring this out, but it seems like they don't have the answers just yet. Well, that, that's kind of what you want though, right? You want two really smart guys arguing two different sides of the same question and figuring out what the best answer is. Oh, bodies dropping for both squads. Trailer coming off for Revo. Berkeley coming off for the Outlaws. Outlaws with the two point lead. There's Zupa. Revo looking like he wants to make a move. And looks like Haber trying to, or did take the back corner bunker. He's going to try to stop uh, Zupa from making it in. But Zupa cuts to the inside. No way that uh, Haber could make the shot from that specific angle. But they are going to lose a body from the center. And I think that is Darula coming off. And they're going to lose uh, Omara. So a couple tough deaths here for Revo is going to give the Outlaws even more breathing room. Yeah, I was afraid that the Outlaws were going to sit back and that uh, because they played kind of aggressively to win those first two points. But a body coming off for the Outlaws. Two bodies come off for the Outlaws. No penalty, just two poor deaths in a high body situation. That is one the Outlaws are going to want back. Oh, Another one. Berkeley, Berkeley gets getting taken out as well. Oh. But Haber, game. Haber, yes, Haber, uh, maybe saving the day here. One on Getting one. a kill on Zupa. Or is it two on one? Uh, definitely Frank, I believe, is left alive oh. for Revo. And Dave Haber just trying to lose. A, Racing. Oh, he's going to race it. Look at this. Frank's off to the... Oh, I thought he was going to go right for the buzzer. He, he is, is going to commit and go to the buzzer. Can he get the shot in on him? And I don't think that... Nope. Didn't he was him. able to get the shot in, so Haber, while he was crawling up, heads up play by Frank Ansatomasa, the new pickup this year, as he just runs completely all the way through, did stop at one of those bunkers just yeah. to check off to make sure there was no one in that back corner bunker on the snake side. That was a beautiful play there by Frank Yeah, the problem, and that's the problem. The snake is super powerful, but it super sucks in a one-on-one, because -on -one, as soon as you get your head down, you lose that guy. So it looks like Lauren's got another update for us. New York Extremes match earlier today didn't go their way, but they are getting hyped in the pits. Patrick Kraft Jr. was trying to get everyone amped, saying it's fight or flight, and our flight's not until Sunday night. So they want to take this win, and they want the largest point spread that they can get. <laughs> Sounds like a New Jersey design. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. So New York Extreme with a one-point lead over San Antonio X Factor with a little under 10 minutes to go. And they... Yeah, they're starting to they're starting to play with that that uh, New York Extreme swagger. Yeah, Kraft Jr. And some getting... teams just feed on that. You know, they get they get they play better than they normally play because they got that swagger, they got that confidence. Yeah, Kraft Jr. getting everybody pumped up. Harris getting pumped up. Here we go. It takes a little bit of stress off you too. So Harris Hussein going to push aggressively, running and gunning up into the center, and it looks like X Factor is going to be losing Jesse Stevens again. Here, Archie Montemayor making his move up into. The tower, body coming off as that is. Two bodies yeah, over there. Stetzel yeah, Stetzel coming off. And Hennessy, was that penalty? Was it penalty yeah, throw? Yeah, One oh, guy got shot, another guy got a penalty. And Delano coming off as well. Now Billy Bernaccia all the way down onto New York Extreme side of the field. This should be X-Factor's point to tie up right yes. now. Yeah, Billy Bernaccia clinic all the way down, never stopped, came up, shot a guy, won the game. Of course, losing the two guys and drawing the penalty also helped. Oh. Yeah, so that's a... Uh, Extreme got the uh, first G against X-Factor on the Dorito side, but then just collapsed. Lost uh, Harris, lost a couple others, and, drove, and got a penalty. Yeah, so it was Jesse Stevens coming off 
from uh, that D side of the field to start things out. That penalty just absolutely killed Extreme's momentum here. That's the, when you're, uh, man, this is, the, this is those <laughs> head shaking moments right now, right? It's like when you're watching Extreme play against the best team in the world right now, other than uh, Houston Heat, who won the World Cup, but X Factor did win the series. So it, those little mistakes are going to cost you. It obviously cost them that specific point right there. But like you said, they get that first kill and they can't take advantage of it because instead of just getting shot, walking off, you're good to go, final penalty, and that's ended up what cost them. And it was a good job by Billy to get in the snake. Uh, and, and that's good for X Factor fans out there that they're getting Billy Bernacci going over here on the snake side. This 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 matches in the matches today. He's been looking 100 percent better than he did yesterday. So I don't know what he changed, but whatever he changed is working because he's making it in almost every point. Nine minutes and 21 seconds left. Outlaws with a still at one point lead. Frank Enta Tommaso stepped up in that last one for Revo to keep them relevant in this match. Now on the breakout as we're looking here at. Baltimore Revo. Yeah, both teams lose one early. Yeah, I think that is Pike coming off from the D side here for Revo. They did take some ground up in the center of the field. And Outlaws lose their snake corner. Outlaws are now moving up Drill side of the field. And again, I think Outlaws playing aggressively here is, is what scored them those first two points. Revo loses another guy in the middle, looks back at like, hey, did somebody on my own team shoot me? Nope, nope, that guy's definitely wearing a different jersey. Yeah, that was Henry Sense up there who had made it all the way up to the center, but now they're losing bodies. Yeah, and the, and the push is coming from the D side in the center this time here for yeah. the Outlaws. Outlaws look good this game. Yeah, they really do. Yeah. They're, they're finishing these points, three, four bodies. They're losing, either losing or, or, or coming up even on the breakouts, but then they're winning the middle and the end of the game. And a very important game, again, for Revo. They went one and one yesterday. This is a team that has made, uh, out of the past 10 events for two years, they've only missed Sunday once. So you don't want to lose to the Outlaws and then have to have your last game in a must-win situation against San Antonio X-Factor, especially with this game being close with X-Factor and New York Extreme. This may, it may who knows, be a must-win situation for X-Factor. And yeah, Revo, one of them could go for home. both of them, yeah. Yeah, we haven't seen X-Factor miss a Sunday, and I'm not saying that they are yet, but we haven't seen them miss a Sunday in, I think, five and a half years now. It's been a long time. Sure, they win a tournament, they get cocky, start slacking off. Yeah. This is what happens. <laughs> yeah. It's getting kind of cool up here. A little chilly. Well, we're in the desert, so at night it's going to get a little chilly. Nighttime? Mm. It's approaching. <laughs> <laughs> it's coming. The night comes. Nine. Bernaccia, Snake Tower alive. X Factor, look, all five alive. Extreme loses their first body on the uh, drill side of the field. Yeah, no one basically on the snake side, so Harris is going to try to come over, and he's been all over the place in this game. Oh, sorry, they did make the back corner bunker on the snake side, talking about uh, New York Extreme. LJ Whitley with a good fill-up to that brick on the drill side. Yeah, and he's looking snake way. He doesn't want to, that's a really good shot from there to try to keep him out of the snake. They're going to lose a body on that D side. As I think that's Delano. He seems to be limping off a little bit. That's not good. And so New York Extreme is going to concede the point here. I'm going to tell you a little secret. Anytime I get shot early in the game, I try to limp off to focus on the limp and not me getting shot out early from the game. Oh, so people feel sorry for you? A little bit of a tip. Just going to give that to you. They're like, oh, Rich died uh, early, but he might be hurt. Look yeah, at it him. looks like he's hurt. It's probably not that big a deal. He probably just got hurt. And I, that's how he got you shot. You know, out. I think you're saying that, but it's, I think it's it's the limping is coming from the lack of cartilage in your knees. <laughs> the grinding. Is that the sound I hear in the morning? <laughs> <laughs> pop, pop, grind, pop. All the paintball players need a, a benevolent surgeon that can do yeah. stem cell and PRV for them. Uh, uh, when uh, the border got shut down and my in-laws live in, uh, across the border down in Mexico, and uh, my mother-in-law was staying with us for a couple days, and in the morning, she's listening to me walk around. She's like, are, are those your joints that are popping <laughs> hey, like that? Uh, why do you sound like that? Yeah, Did you get hit by a train or something? Are you okay? I'm like, yeah, it's just this how it is, especially yeah. in the morning. Paintball, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, ankles, knees, you know, elbows, whatever. How about fingers, it. man, from all the bloody knuckle drills? Oh, yeah, man. Plus oh. the, yeah. In the morning, anyway. it takes me like five minutes to open them up. <laughs> <laughs> so now 8.30 here as... Rebo right drops the first body on Drill side, but they put two in the snake. Well, Haber's already in the snake. Haber's been eliminated, unfortunately. Yeah, Haber just got called out by the ref, and so that's going to give Zupa here and Omara a good look to push forward. Yeah, and they're slaughtering outlaws right now. This yeah. is what Rebo needs. Yeah. And Rebo did lose another body, though, but they have Zupa in a great spot. Trailer's in a great spot up the center, and they got Omara doing damage behind Zupa as well. So I think it's going to be a pretty quick one here for Revo. And really good timing for Revo. The outlaw player on the drill side was just about to make a move and all three Revo guns switched to him. 
three on one now. Rebo easily winning this point. Outlaws not uh, conceding because they're, they're up by two. Eight minutes left in this match. Well, that was a good look for Rev. That's yeah, what they needed. That really was. I mean, they did lose a couple bodies, but they had taken that ground. Great job by Zupa. Great job by Steven O'Mara. And also solid work by Max Trailer, getting that penetration in the center. And those are the guys that did the damage here to make this a one-point match with seven minutes and 46 seconds left to go. Let's check in again with our sideline reporter, Lauren Kelly. Thanks, an important point for Revo to get. Before going into that point, Matt Derula said they were losing to Outlaws because they're just forgetting their fundamental plays that they decided they were gonna run coming into this tournament with this field layout. They're playing sloppy, <laughs> making moves they didn't discuss and not sticking to their Revo game plan. Thank you, Lauren. So, yeah, and so let's get a look at the top five killers here as we are pretty deep in. You can see Alex Goldman, 16 points played, 27 kills. That's insane. Matt Jackson's behind him or uh, by one kill, but 30 but points played, played twice played as many points. 14 extra points and kids, to put up one less kill. Kids at home, that's why you become the first snake player. You get the most guys to <laughs> hey, kill if you play if, good. Yeah, and also if you want to make a living playing paintball, then do what G Goldman's doing right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> If he, if he offers a clinic, go to that clinic. Yeah. I mean. Good break out there for Extreme. They don't drop anybody. Two in the middle, one in the Snake Tower, one in the Cape, one in Drita One. X Factor releases LJ Woodley up to that brick on the drill side. He likes that brick. He looks Snake side to cut that off. And at the same time, is that Jesse Stevens in the Snake for X Factor? Yeah, it's Jesse Stevens. And Meter's going to get right behind him. Run, running referee coming in. That's never a good sign. Yeah, and Harris is a big guy to double up that back center, man. Yeah. Even with uh, slimming down. Yeah, even with losing apparently 26 pounds. Oh, it looks like uh, that Stetzel. Stetzel catches one too. So X Factor looking real good in this tie yeah. game with a bunch of time left. Here Ooh. comes Colt Roberts who's just running people and shooting them into the ground yeah. over on the D side. Somebody got some lumps. I think it was Pat Kraft Jr. Yeah, I don't hear him talking any smack now. It's crazy. I wonder if he shot it out of him. Colt's a nice guy, but he, did, he looked like he was apologizing has, when he still, went by. Like, yeah. hey, hey, sorry about that ten in your back of your head, bro. Yeah, still has a chip <laughs> on his shoulder, though. That's what's great about paintballs; those little guys get to get those chips off. So let's uh, let's go down to Lauren again. You guys were talking about the top kill leaders uh, just before this point. And fun fact, in the history of us doing stats, no one has ever gotten 1.6 kills per point at the end of prelims. So that's a new record that Alex Goldman has set. Boom. Yeah. Thank you, Lauren. Lots of surviving, lots, lots of, of records killing. this weekend. Yeah, we had definitely had some records. So, yeah, and a big shout out here. You can see the, uh, the virtue kill count leader here. It's the jersey that goes to the kill count leader. Matt Jackson won it yesterday. Yep. And looks like Goldman's going to be getting it today. We should get one just for well kills deserved. to point played ratio, too. Yeah, he should get a special so jersey. nasty. He should get to keep the jersey. Well, also, we got the Golden Barrel. The Golden Barrel is sitting right in front of me. For now. Yeah, for now. I only have ownership of this for maybe another 24 hours. Outlaws is the first player on the rear side of the field. Revo with five alive. Revo first to the snake. Outlaws having a hard time getting in the snake. They they counter the move and fill the snake themselves. Revo's going down the snake. Outlaws are looking to play defensively from snake one. Yeah, here comes Revo past the snake three, crawling on that inside lane. Outlaws lose one on the drill side, but immediately fill to the drill corner. Three on five here for see the if, Outlaws. We'll see if Haber can pick up Zupa here. Or is this Omara? I think this might be Omara. And he's just posted up down that inside lane. Yeah, that's... Referee's going to come and check out. Oh, and pulls Haber out. So wow. I was, it is Omara. So nice job by Omar to get into the snake. Haber comes off. Berkeley also dies as well. Only now looking good for the alive. Outlaws. Rebel trying to tie this one up, yeah, refusing only, to lose. Yeah, only one Outlaw left alive. He's in that uh, Drita corner. He's just la lasting as long as he possibly it's can. Still six minutes and 52 seconds left in this one. There goes another body coming off yeah, lots of for purple out there still. the Outlaws. And this is a pretty solid point. Lots of purple jerseys out there. You went German for a second. This is a very good point, John. <laughs> Omar, Omar is taking a little breather. <laughs> That's exactly he what I would do. Hey, could someone give me a hand? It was a really long crawl down Ruff, here, Ruff's man. like, you all right? He's like, oh, I'm good, man. Dude, all right. I'm doing the best I little, can. Just a little tired, but you know, see those kills I got? <laughs> Tell him to hurt my gun and bring me some pods. <laughs> Outlaws looked really good in this match, but now the longer the match goes, the better Revo's starting to look. Yeah, so, well... The momentum gone over completely to Revo now. Let's see if Outlaws can pick it back up. 
Revo, I think, finally realizing this is a must-win situation for them. And, and, and almost the same thing in this match, where X-Factor now has all the momentum as well. Where uh, In the beginning of the match, New York was kind of getting a little chirpy, getting a little up on their heels, starting to feel good. X-Factor's kind of beat that back out of them. So there's a lot more time left in this match. Well, not a lot more, but eight minutes is a decent amount of time. On this so field, many it could be a long time. Yeah, so many fast points out here. We we're only a little bit behind schedule, even having to put that extra finished of game, or finishing of a game in there. So hopefully we can get these games done before dark today. Both teams snake on the break. Outlaws attack. I'm sorry, New York Extreme attacking. Yeah, getting into the snake here. Penalty yes. against X-Factor. Oh, but it's just a minor that is going to pull off everyone. It's Colt Roberts and their, and Jesse Stevens getting that minor. Lucky that um. Archie didn't get pulled. He'd have been in big trouble. <laughs> Rainy Stanzik still alive with Archie and Billy. And but the Outlaws problem, lose one from Trio side. Extreme. Oh, sorry, sorry. But here comes Extreme. Yeah, as they're going to get Stetzel here. And there goes another body coming off. Rainy tried to get out wide, yeah. realizing they were in a bad spot, tucked in the pocket. Yeah. Like we said, that it's the right move. Yeah. Sometimes you get clipped going out there, but you still got to go. Yeah, so Rainy comes off. That's just two bodies left alive. But with the two-point lead, it looks like. And, of course, Ryan's just going to let this one ride. Not going to concede a point here when they want time burnt off this clock. So it's going to be up to Billy and Archie try to try to catch some extreme players making mistakes. Look like a mistake being made. Packraft Jr. eyes to the sky in frustration as he walks off. Yeah, three on two, and he's taking the early walk. And then now Hussein might have got clipped on his tactical retreat to try to give uh, Stetzel some support, yeah. but no, he makes it clean. Yeah, Harris fills out this way, and I think he filled the wrong way. I think he needed to fill Dorito to keep uh, Archie from filling from the can to the Dorito side. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not sure why Harris came over here. Um, yeah, maybe he didn't know that Pat had died yet. That's possible. That's possible. Oh, Harris might have just got caught from the inside from Archie. Yeah, he did. He was standing over the top, and Archie caught him. Nice wrap by Archie to get that kill. But Billy, is there a body that I mean, we can't see a couple bunkers so. over there, but I don't think there's anyone left alive. I think it's no, a one on two. It is a one on two. But I don't think the uh, X Factor knows the count, if no. that is the case. That's why I said it was so important for Harris to go the other way instead of this way. Because if Archie would have known that there was no one left on the Drew side, when Harris went this way, he would have gone that way. Stetzel's going to trade out with uh, Billy, yeah. but that yeah. is, I, I mean, there's not much Stetzel could have done, maybe a tactical retreat, but. I mean, that's just going to give, and then New York Extreme should be conceding this point. Yes. Because they need the time. It's going to be a three-point spread. Yeah, and they don't need to worry about margin at this point. <laughs> well, New York Extreme sitting at 2-1 and one right now. They had the two wins yesterday, and we had Bo Milo up here thinking, maybe this could be one. Yeah. Maybe you could just get one more win on the board, and... You, know, you go three and one and not have to worry about being two and two and crossing your fingers. He's like, I know, I can't wait. And then he's like, I, yeah, sure I don't enough, want to, have to sweat this one. But it's looking, at least as it stands now, if they don't pick it up, that they're going to be going two and two again and crossing their fingers again and hoping that they can move on to Sunday. It's all about consistency at this level, Matt. Revo's looking started off kind of rough, but they've been looking good these last couple points. They pretty much shut down the Outlaws, tied up the game. Plenty of time left for either one of these teams to score a couple points and lock this up. But right now, it's either team. But it's either either team can win, but Revo to lose because they've got the advantage here. Jumping back into this tie game. There's still a lot of time left, man. And aggressive push for the Outlaws up the center of the field to get Davidson to that brick. He's looking towards the snake side. Referee's going to run in and check him out, make sure he's clean. He shot his gun yet, and it looks, looks like, like he's he good clean. to go. Yeah, he's got that position where if if uh, if he can, he can shut down the snake side. But they've got to protect him because Revo's going to try to come get him, just like Yosh Rao was releasing. You see the Revo place re Revo player release, and they have to go get that guy off the field because if we leave him there, they basically concede the whole snake side of the field. Yeah. So four to four here, Outlaws first in the snake from the snake corner. I like that fill. He immediately looks inside, though, and I, I just don't like that because it just you lose that opportunity to get in early and get a quick kill before they kind of know where you're at in the snake and what's going on. Yeah. Revo now moves in the snake and the snake tower, so two on the snake side for Revo. Four on four here. Zuba hits the deck. He's going to crawl in past snake two. Well, it checks off on that lane. Got to check off on it. Now Zupa going to get here into snake three. Look inside. No one wants to be the player that makes the mistake. Crucial match. No. Nope. Yeah, three on three, whoever wins the next point, obviously, can have an advantage to match. Revo taking a walk from the Drito corner. 
little advantage here for the Outlaws now. The Outlaws filled the Drito corner as they push forward in the Snake as well. Revo's really communicating really well. I, I hear the, the Revo guys talking to each other. I don't hear the Outlaw guys talking very much. I don't know if they're so good that they don't need to talk or if they just don't communicate very much, but it really seems like the Revo guys are all on the same page. Yeah. Both with little communications in small groups and also yelling across the field. Oh, Haber Oof. losing a gunfight here. Nice job by Zupa. Solid shot by yep. Mike Zupa in the snake. One here, snake three. But again, you know, if, you, if you're in the snake and you play that, uh, that kind of smart, tricky game, sometimes you're going to get dinked out. But Omara getting caught by Berkeley. Berkeley running and gunning and wrapping around, able to get that kill on Omara. It's two to two with Berkeley in the Drito corner. Another play in the, in the Drito one. Berkeley walking inside. He's not scared. Is there no one left on the drill side? I think there's one left on the drill side, but I don't know if Berkeley knows that there's a guy left on the drill side for Revo. Because he, he just walks from that corner forward. Yeah, Berkeley's just way up and over the top yeah. of Snake One, trying to get the drop on Zupa. And now Berkeley's going to run the highway as Zupa looks away. Oh, he just shot too oh, early. No he, de no, he definitely got a shot on Zupa. I saw something break off. Zupa, I'm almost positive I saw something break. It could have been off of the bunker. He definitely has a hit on him. Yeah, We're going to get a major. major yeah. yeah. Major penalty assessed here on Mike Zupa. Yep. That's a yeah, nice call, man. I saw something break. I didn't see him. it. I didn't see it, but I, I trusted you. But I knew he spun and shot the guy. So if he had a hit on him, it would be a major. You get shot, yeah. you shoot somebody else, that's a major. I mean, I'd like to see the replay on that one if we have it. But from what I saw when Berkeley stopped and pumped the brakes and then Zupa started to push forward to, do, to try to get out of the way of him, looked like something sprayed mm. off of him. Well, and Berkeley turned around like, what are you doing? I just shot you, dude. Well, here it is. So here it comes. Berkeley, so look for Zupa. Where's the spray? So look at this hopper right there. There's something, I don't know, let's see, coming over the top. Oh, yeah, it looks like right his there. left rib. Yeah, so he got shot right on the inside part of his left rib, and here's it from the opposite angle. So look at the left rib. So here comes Berkeley. Berkeley definitely has the drop on Zupa. You can't see it from that angle, but he slipped one in on his rib. You might be able to see it right there. Yeah, you can see him kind of put his, his arm down a little his bit. elbow over it, yeah. Yeah, but he had that hit there. See it from this different angle. So look at the left rib here. Berkeley shot too early. Ten see that hit right there? Yep. So, yeah, I mean. that Just a bad decision. Sometimes well, you make bad decisions. A lot of it's instinct, too. Yeah, this yeah. is why I'm a big fan of uh, trying to, or you should call penalties on your guys in practice. I agree. So guys don't get Go out used, on bounces and call yeah, penalties. Guys, guys don't get used to, to, to spinning when they get hit. X Factor dropping two, New York dropping one. Billy Bernaccia, and it looks like uh, Randy Stazak taking a walk. The new skinny. Skinny Harris Hussein? Harris Hussein, all the way up the snake. If he gets up one more, he can catch Meter when he fills the corner. Oh, Meter gets caught going to the corner smartly. Doesn't pull that trigger. Harris has got this, two targets now. Yeah, huge point if Harris could pull this one off right there. There was another kill. Might be able to catch Woodley sleeping in the back. Ooh. Now Harris is going to start chirping. And he does. Yep, look, he's telling him right now. Uh-oh. Yeah, Harris is going to walk him down. And then <laughs> yeah, when he Woodley just pointed at the scoreboard. scoreboard. Like, I'm sorry, how many points do you have, <laughs> Mr. Bully Man? This is still a big point though for Extreme because there's five minutes and 20 seconds left. That was great. And now it's only going to have now it's only going to be a two point spread. Yep. So this is this game still could be a game that Extreme could tie up. I mean that's a lot of time for two points on a layout like this. But again, they are playing San Antonio X Factor. So with these answer was amazing though. Yeah, yeah, no, no, super, super, cool, cool. That was a really, really strong point there from the Outlaws. Got two early breaks, and then Harris just pushed down that snake. Got a couple kills. It's like when everything works, it looks so easy, man. Right? When everything works, it looks like it's effortless. And then you go out the next time, and nothing's working. You're like, why is it so yeah. easy sometimes and so hard the other times? Outlaws look really good that last point. Yeah. Man, every match almost is back and forth bloodbath. Back and forth. Up by one point, up by two points, down by one point, yeah, down by two points. It's definitely been an incredibly fun day to watch just because of how crazy all these games have been. So. So we'll see here as uh, these games still not over yet. Look at the Outlaws are on your screen. There's Haber. Because their go-to guy in the snakes, Tapula, I feel is having a really good event over yep. on that D side. Yep. Mr. Consistent for the Outlaws is uh, is the Silver Fox, Fred Berkeley. 
So let's check in with Lauren Kelly. Yeah, I'm waiting for confirmation on this penalty call in that last Outlaws Revo point uh, versus Berkeley and uh, Zupa. Right now it's sounding like Zupa wasn't hit. It was actually rub, but we are rub. still reviewing it, and I will give you a confirmed call as soon as I have it. Yeah, well, it looked like there was paint on his rib, but yeah. it looked like a lot of paint. Maybe it was rub. Again, I'm, our angle is not as close as the refs. and. So what do we do we in that situation, Matt? When the ref on the field calls a major like that, if, right if, or wrong? No, they they change it. That's why they have a really? replay review. Wow. Yeah. That which I got to tip my hat to Trent so for to the. Uh, is it a non-point or what do they do? They try to make it right. So it just depends on the situation and the penalty. So in that situation, it was probably still a, a two or three on one. So the outlaws are waiting here to see is currently with the lead. But we got to wait as Jason's going to check out. But there's a big momentum shifter. But we're seeing another grinder game here with a bunch of points scored. Still time on the clock with both of these matches. And both if they weren't really close. good games, I think it would piss me off that they were going to have to be here until 10 or 11 tonight. <laughs> I love paintball, but, you know, 30 hours of it is a lot in one day. <laughs> <laughs> but the games are so good, I don't mind. I don't mind. And the stands, like, have been consistently packed. Like, you know, usually, usually it clears out when some of the divisional team or lower-ranked teams come in. Fills back up when you know you got Impact or, or Heat or Dynasty, one of the big teams. But it, it's mm -hmm. been pretty solid all day yesterday and today. Yeah. Because there's a lot of good games out here. So it looks like Lauren has a little bit of an update for us. Yep, we're still going to have a little time here. Jason Trozen went out to tell the refs that that penalty call was going to be overturned, mm. but the refs say there was absolutely a hit on Zupa's chest. So he's reviewing once again. Yeah, it's, it has to be conclusive, obviously. So Jason's going to try to make it as right as he possibly can. Um, again, from an angle, it did look like there was a lot of paint in on the area, on his like it chest rib area. It certainly looked like Berkeley thought he had shot him when he turned mm -hmm. and turned yeah. into the next target. The first couple balls definitely broke off of the, uh, off of the, the bunker. bunker. Yeah. So if Berkeley had just gone, I know he tried to stop to get the right angle, not go way mm -hmm. black. He shot too that, early, too. He, did, yeah. he shot three or four times, which gave the other guy the opportunity to boogie up so right now it looks like Revo mm -hmm. is has four bodies out there so yeah looks like they're gonna get going here their Revo's gonna start with four we're gonna get things given outlaws things another little bit of an advantage match. here yeah so they out but there's still four and a half or four minutes and three seconds left and there's this only one point spread if Revo can shoot a body on the break it's gonna even up the count and then they definitely still have a chance to tie this one up they're not out of this yet no outlaws get to the snake corner first time they've gone out there Oh, Berkeley gets caught in the middle, looks at the ref, and the ref's like, yeah, man, that's a hit. You got to leave, buddy. Got shot out of the back center there. Very uh, uncommon that he gets shot out er that early from the back position. Outlaws first in the snake, looking inside. Going to try to catch one of the Revo guys filling up the middle. Revo fills the snake now from the snake tower. Filming snake tower from the, from the center can. Revo with a one-body advantage here early on. Four to three. Oh, Outlaws drop another body as Revo fills the center brick and the snake corner. And now crawling up, Dave Haber gonna get to snake three. Good position in the center though, a little bit better position here. Oh, they're gonna lose Haber, so great yeah. job by Revo. Yeah, he put chest down, butt up, and got caught in his pack by the center brick. Here comes Davidson as he's gonna do attack and retreat, but he gets stitched up. So yep. it's looking like Revo's gonna win this sure. low body situation. They yep. started with four, the Outlaws with five, and this is another, Man, the Outlaws have a history of this. They put themselves in a real good position, something goes their way, and then they squander an opportunity to seal the deal. Uh, even if this point is, or if this point is won by Revo, which Omaro is just feasting in the center of the field, and good job by Darula, he's going to run in there and hit that buzzer. Uh, but the Outlaws still have a chance to win this one. Obviously, the game is going to be tied now, but that's just a real great job by Revo and a frustrating point for the Outlaws as Revo able to win with just four bodies. But that's why in those situations, even if you feel like you got a bad beat on a penalty, and you have to stay mentally focused for the next one. You yeah. can't let that frustration ride in on over to that next point and let you get your out your head out of the game you gotta let it go, that man. when you only have four points. So whoever the four go out there, they need to be as composed as possible. And that's why, what a great job by Rebel. Got to tip my hat to them, staying and keeping themselves in this match right well, now. I was talking about that yesterday, about how cool and calm they were composed under pressure. Yeah, so right now, X Factor with a lead over Extreme, but Extreme keeping this one close by winning that last point. 
Ten seconds. Yeah, I'd like to see Extreme attack here a little bit. They need to try to keep X Factor out of the snake side of the field, get one of those kills in that, that zone of death over there, and avoid losing their body in that area. So on the breakout now, here we go. Two point spread with 5.14 to go. Jesse Stevens gets the snake corner alive. At the same time, though, Outlaws are already in the snake. Snake three looking inside. Oh, Jesse Stevens gets shot again. Jesse having a little bit of a rough go of it out here. He had an outstanding year last year. He's real focused coming into this one. Looks like Colt Roberts is going to take the walk. Extreme might have a, an opportunity here to get a little bit closer right now. We'll see if somebody can step up for X Factor, and it's going to be Meter Ninos. Meter yep. Ninos gets shot on Tim Stetzel. And, and Alex fills in behind him. Great fill for Alex behind him. Protecting Ninos now. He gets that first kill, now goes forward in the snake. There's one player for New York over here on the snake side, but he's looking inside from the snake corner. Ineos with an outstanding point so far. See if he can finish this one. It was not looking good for X Factor with those two bodies lost, just three players alive, but Ineos keeping him in this one right now. Yeah, great fill there from X Factor. I mean, sorry, from New York Extreme into the snake. I don't know if anybody knows that he's in there. I don't know if Meter knows he's got somebody in the snake with him. Yeah, it's Will Hennessy. He's staying off of that bunker. He's not hitting the bunker that he's in. That's the correct move. He's a, he seems like a really smart, fluid player. Yeah, not. I like Hennessy, man. Hennessy's been fun to watch, and he's a calculated killer out there. Uh, but that's the correct play. You don't want to telegraph your position to your opponent. Tactical retreat for Ninos as he gets back into Snake 2. Which is kind of interesting because no one's really putting a lot of pressure. Oh, he looks inside and gets caught by Hennessy. Hennessy. Yeah, so Hennessy able to now it's up to Extreme to try to close this one out. Yeah, Extreme's got Dorito 3, they, Center Brick, and 50 Snake. They got to be smart, Rich, though. They don't they don't need to score a point in 15 seconds right now. They just got to be calm, composed out here. As looks like Alex Martinez getting shot out of that back corner. Not much he could do is everyone's now going to be closing in on who was that last player left alive, and it's Woodley again. Oh, and sure enough, Harris Hussein's chirping at Woodley again. <laughs> Harris, uh, Woodley should just point the scoreboard again, man. Yeah, but Woodley's doing. <laughs> Wood, see, a lot of guys let they Harris let they him, let yeah, extreme. They yeah, yeah, they let Harris and the rest of Extreme get into their heads. Woodley's Woodley, calm, yeah, Woodley's cool, calm, and just like, totally ignoring Harris, walking sure, bro. off. Hey, cool story, bro. Cool story. <laughs> <laughs> he just never stops. It's great. Yeah. But no, but that's look, Woodley did a good job of ignoring him because a lot of guys they just can't they can't help themselves. They want to say something back. Yeah, a lot of guys get emotional about it. Woodley's like, hey man, I'm not here to start fighting. Look at people. that replay there though, Rich, that Hennessy was laying down waiting. and caught yes, waiting for that shot. And then Alex Martinez, he's took he was tucked in as tight as he possibly yeah, yeah. could. He could not get any closer to that bunker. And then poor Woodley just gets a double dose of Pat Kraft Jr. and Harris Hussein. Yeah, and Pat then Harris, shoots him and then Harris wears him out. <laughs> well, look at look at Woodley's just completely ignoring him. He's right next to him. He's yeah. screaming at him. Yeah. <laughs> A job by Woodley to stay. Woodley took that way calm, better than I would have. Yeah, you would net, no, you, when people were chirping at you, you went right back at him. And then you would always just revert to, well, should we just take this out in the parking lot? Because I will punch you in the face. That was your go to. Way <laughs> uh, looks than like talking. Omara might be getting a penalty, but which one's it going to be? Minor, minor, minor. Just a minor penalty. That's good. So, but now the opportunity for the Outlaws to try to put another point on the board and take this lead. 232 to go, but an early death here by uh, Fred Berkeley. Second in the row from that position. Here comes Max Trail. He's going to come in and trade out with Davidson, I think, or Melching. Outlaws still have one in the snake corner and one in the Drito corner. Dave Haber in the back corner bunker for the Rebel Outlaws. Loses another player from the center and another from the Dorito. Outlaw, this is exactly what Outlaws needed to get back in this game. It's a good thing uh, Harrison uh, Woodley aren't out there at this point. <laughs> <laughs> well, so now the Outlaws. <clears throat> and take it's, a it's, it's crazy because the Outlaws come out one point and look really, really good. And then they come out the next point and Rebel looks really, really good. Yeah. Well. We got it again, Rich. More close paintball, more good points. Can't complain, man. More good games. Yeah, paintball fans this weekend have uh, been treated to a really, really something special because yesterday and today are some of the best paintball I I've seen played probably in the last 10 years. Every time I say it, it's getting longer, it was like a year, then it was two years and five, and now it's like 10 years. <laughs> it's the best paintball I've ever seen in my whole life. So, three, Stream's got to be fired up right now. 33 to go. Yeah, Extreme's definitely fired up. This is when they play their best. X Factor, those calm, cool, and collective. You're not going to rattle their cages. Well, we know. 
now. Extreme, yeah, one point away. So actually, X Factor, yeah, still has a one point lead, so that score is wrong. But it's five to four in favor of X Factor. X Factor in control at this point. Billy Maracha going down Snake. New York Extreme losing two on Snake side early. Billy Maracha now in their Snake. Looking across the field, shooting at their Dorito One. Shooting at their home player, killing the Dorito One. Working to try to shoot the home player. Shoots the home player as well as two pack there for Billy Bernaccia. Billy's going to try to come up and shoot the Snake Tower. This is or catch the fill. crucial point right now for X Factor. Billy Bernaccia doing his job. And oh, body coming off. And it's going to be a quick concession, though. It doesn't matter. Colt Roberts got shot, but and then here comes. San Antonio X Factor putting their six point on the board, and there's just not a lot of time left here. <laughs> a little bit of chirping there. Yeah. I like it. It's getting a little heated out here, that's for sure. Getting uh, a little hot. But X Factor, that, that point may do it. The way we've seen quick points, I don't know. It's <laughs> tough to tell, but a two point spread, not a lot of time on the clock. And, and they X Factor are playing, so and, it's, and X Factor is now getting hyped up themselves, yeah. so. And, and they've been kind of playing tentatively. They could let uh, Colt go to three or four on the break and completely show them a different look. Yeah, but again, this is an incredibly crucial po uh, game and points right now for both of these for spots. Both teams. Because be X Factor has this win. is their first game of the day. They have one more this uh, one more in, uh, in the last set. And they but lost they, yesterday. Exactly. So, yeah, it's. Uh, and their next game is against who? It's against uh, Rebo. So a one-point game here, two, 11 on the clock, and a one-point lead for the Outlaws. Trying to get this upset victory. They do lose a body on the break, though, losing two, actually. So tough break here for the Outlaws, but a great break for Rebo. Trying to tie this game up. There goes another one coming off for the Outlaws. That's exactly what I was just saying. Outlaws come out and play a really good point, and then come out and just get diced up. Like, it's a completely different. I don't know, maybe they're running two different lines. No, they're not. This is just a, a, definitely an atrocious point so far for the Outlaws. They do shoot uh, an attacking Stephen O'Mara. Berkeley is really struggling. That guy's usually super solid. Yeah, he's definitely having too many early deaths. It's uncharacteristic of him. And Zupa trying to find out a way to get up. Oh, does not going to do it as the kill's going to come cross field. Yeah. They were coming fast, man. Mm. Rebo tying this game up right now with just a minute and 31 seconds left. It's getting tense out here. So let's get an update from Lauren. Yeah, so it sounds like New York Extreme is going to be getting an unsportsmanlike what? penalty, uh, starting with four going into this next point for using poor language on the field. Milo and Harris were both screaming about it, Jason Trozen, but the stand, uh, the call stands as of now. New York Extreme will be down a body in this point. I hate those penalties. I, I do too, man, especially if, if New York goes out and just loses this point, like they're not even in the game. Like, talk to them after the match. Punish him after the match, you know, charge him some money, do whatever you do, but don't affect the game, man. These guys work too hard. Yeah, I don't know. I just, it's just frustrating. I, and look, you, and you, I understand you have to draw a line, right? There's, there's some line has to and be And I don't know what was said. I don't either. I don't know how bad it was, but you can see there's a, a couple replays of Harris just walking Woodley off the field both times, just giving him an ear beating. But Woodley doing a good job of just staying composed. And then you can see, yeah, Archie also pointing to the scoreboard again, which is the correct response when a team that you are beating is uh, getting chirpy. So now it looks like Billy getting shot off the break. They might be losing Archie too. Archie gonna get a check, he comes off. So extreme though, they did start with four. They are gonna lose Hussein. Now they have three, so it's a three on three situation. But well, shoot, shoot oh, that's up. a terrible death for, is that Stetzel? Yeah. yeah, Stetzel did no idea that Woodley was up in that center. Woodley might be getting another free kill yep. here on, on Hennessy. So that's just poor communication. Uh, from the uh, boys from Extreme, maybe not poor communication, but you gotta at least check off on that lane. There's Wood not, it's not a nut bridge. Okay, two. Yeah, so now Woodley dumping his hopper, chirping at the Extreme guys. Yeah, so that should do it. Um, there's still some time left, but it's uh, pretty sure that X Factor is gonna be able to solidify this yeah. win. But you could tell Stetzel was frustrated at himself because he did the eyes to the sky and frustration look and the slow walk off. But then Hennessy runs through the same lane and he <laughs> makes the same mistake. Um, tough lane to check off on, but if you're unsure, maybe go with your gun that way and you whiz a ball past his head, force Woodley to, to check back in, and then you make your spot. And in that, but blindly running through your yeah. spot is not the way to do it. And in that important of a point, you have to at least head check that, right? Yeah. you got to at least look at it. And they're down a couple, and they don't have a ton of time left, but it's not like it's a minute and a half left to score two. They had, I think, 2.30-ish yeah. left, so still worthy of a check. But... Yeah, I would like to know what was said. Like, how bad was it? 
Was um, it a Yo Mama's fat I just, joke? I don't know. Like, to me, I want the games to, unless somebody throws a punch or somebody's in, in physical danger, to me, words are, are, are don't should not hurt you. Yeah. So don't, don't direct, don't cuss at the referees. Yeah, right? we don't have I, them mic'd up. I think that's a that's a solid rule, right? But if you want to cuss at the other guys on the other team, yeah, I mean it's a lot easier than shooting them. It's a lot nicer than shooting them. Like paintball is not a safe space, man. No. This is not not the pro leagues. Uh -uh. Maybe down in D four you can do that, but we're not here know. to cuddle. Regardless, I understand you got to keep uh, some control out there, but I just want the game decided out on the field. And this was a really good game. Great breakout from both teams. Five alive, both teams in the corners. Revo filling first up in the trio side. Oh, and taking the walk from the snake corner, Revo. Oh, and same time, Outlaws take a walk from the trio side. Yeah, so Outlaws, this tie ball game here with just a minute and four seconds left to go. Tense moments, uh, looks like Revo is gonna be losing a body lose. Matt Darula, no one in the snake for either squad. Berkeley staying alive this time and making it count. So Berkeley might be able, even after some... Oh, oh there's the penalty Outlaws Rebo. might be stealing this win. Berkeley with some early deaths, but staying alive in the most important one. And they're going to concede the point, actually, to give themselves some time to come back because they were absolutely going to lose that one. Yep. Rebo's out there arguing with the rest about a call. I'm not sure what it was. It's over on the Drill side of the field. Well, the Outlaws, have, they lost two games yesterday. Yep. And I have to go back and look at the scores, but... Uh, if they win now, and then they go beat the Ironman, they'll go two and two, and maybe they'll have a chance. I don't know about spread, though. Let's see. I think they got beat pretty bad. Yeah, they got beat pretty bad by X Factor. And but even if they don't make it in, winning two is, is, is pretty good based on how well they did last yeah. season. Yeah, uh, for sure. It will help their overall <laughs> ranking. Yeah. I mean, it's a, it's a positive, right? I haven't seen a lot of negatives out here this weekend. I haven't seen a lot of people like uh, where I'm like, what are you doing? Why? Why are you so far away from all the other teams? All these teams out here are pretty close, except for probably Impact and Dynasty. They don't seem like they're struggling as much as the other teams. Mm -hmm. Impact's not struggling at all. No, Impact is not struggling. Dynasty they, had a little challenge yesterday. With yeah, miss. true. But, you know, as we always say, just make it on, right? And Running and shooting to Snake 3. That's what I like to see out of New York. Yeah. But Dynasty did obliterate AC Dallas, so that's a pretty big yeah. statement. New York loses their first player over there on the Drio side, but they've got the center brick on the snake side, and they've got one in the snake. Billy Bernacci now fills the snake for for uh, X Factor as Peter Ninos gets shot behind him. Billy Bernacci gets run down by Stetzel. Big run. Oh, and here goes the major against New York. Major, I have no idea. It's a major penalty on Will Hennessy, and that's going to pull out. Was it a major? Did you see a red flag? I saw a red flag. I almost saw him pull one yeah, guy. Yeah, I, I did see him only pull one guy, so maybe he meant to throw the minor Maybe, flag. yeah. Because Harris is still out there. Or unless he pulled a major on Stetzel and then pulled out Hennessy and then Maybe. pulled the next guy. Yeah, that's possible too. Harris is out there wheeling and dealing. He just got a couple kills. Oh, and he, get, and oh, he, he gets trades L out with oh, Woodley. Oh, he gets LJ. They, no, I think he, did he trade out with Woodley? I don't, I don't think he did. I think he shot him. And Harris is saying, hey, Woodley, great game. <laughs> I'm a huge fan of you. Your hair is amazing. Yeah, so Harris, again, hitting yes. that buzzer. And again, chirping at Woodley because he did get the drop on him. I thought they traded out for a second by Harris's body language, but he was just taking cover. He was taking a deep breath so he could start talking some smack. Mm -hmm. Well, now again, another two point spread. Five to seven is the score. And am I correct that Outlaw started with four players that game because they were serving a penalty for cussing? That was the point before. Point before, okay, sorry. A lot of these teams go out and look almost like two completely different teams. They go out and just play an amazing point, and then they play a horrible point, amazing point, horrible point. That's why these games are so close. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but that's this layout. This layout is rough. But that, and that's what paintball has always been. It's chaos, man. Yeah. It's figuring out the chaos quicker than the other guys figure out the chaos, and then making the appropriate moves. I'll tell you what. If I was running a team, I would hope I had as many mentally strong people as possible because depending on Oof. which lanes are coming and where. I mean, some of my best guys might be wearing a couple for a few points, and I need them focused for, like, Berkeley. Berkeley comes out in that last one. He'd had a couple early deaths, yep. and he stayed focused and then got the kills when he needed to get the kills. So mm. one point spread here with 48 seconds left as the uh, boys from Revo able to keep themselves a little bit of time to try to uh, put the time point on the board, and a couple bodies are coming off right now for the Outlaws. That's they lose Berkeley again. Berkeley again. Haber as well. So 30 two, seconds left. Revo's got time left. Two, oh. guy, two guys that have typically high survivability. Revo is blowing the Outlaws off the field. Zupa sure. is all the way onto their side right now. Plenty of time left. Yeah, they have four bodies alive, and wow, they are going to tie this one up. One of the quickest points we've seen. And again, Outlaws, they go out, they look amazing, they go out and look terrible. They go out and look amazing, they go out and look terrible. 
Wow. Revo with three bodies left alive, and they just wore out the Outlaws. Mm. Yeah, tied up 6-6 six to six now with 13 seconds left. Most likely that means we're going to see an overtime point. And I don't care who you are. This is good paintball, man. Mm. It doesn't get tighter than this in all these yeah. games. Yeah, you have to be a gigantic hater or absolutely can stand paintball uh, to not be appreciating what's going on right out here. If you are a fan, then hopefully you're enjoying the battle's going down this weekend here in Vegas. Yeah, if you've shared any blood, sweat, and tear with any of these guys out here, you're enjoying this because this is the best This is the best it gets, man. This has not been an easy weekend for everyone out here. This has completely made me fall in love with paintball again. I was starting to be like, you know what, man? It's just so different now. Like, it's such, like, people aren't trying to make big moves. They're trying not to make mistakes. People aren't trying to win. They're trying not to lose. Like, that's not really what paintball was for us. Paintball for, for us was kind of showing off in front of our friends and trying to beat our friends and make cooler moves and, and kind of growing that. Yeah, no, it, it, but I like the mentality of a lot of these younger guys. I like the layouts that Jason too, has been making. I do too. And I like the fact that for the first time ever, we have about legit eight teams that may win a tournament It might this be year. more than that, No, man. I know, and that, I'm saying <laughs> legit eight. You could make a strong argument that for it may be more than that. So we've never been able to say that no. before. It's typically no. always been just three maybe or four teams. Yeah, two, three, four, five, maybe five that have a chance to really, like a solid, legit chance to win. And that's not the case. And then to see these younger guys come out here, and yeah, sure, it might be a little bit uh, contingent upon the way that how chaotic this layout is and pressing the issue. Um, it's like Alex Frazier, when he came up here, said it's the great equalizer. Um, but still. It shows them there's a, there's a chance at least, right? Yeah, absolutely. It gives them a light at the end of the tunnel that's not a train. Yeah, so let's check in again with Lauren Kelly. As to be expected, NYX is full of rage in the pits. They said it's time to get violent. They came up to me and told me that they wanted me to go tell Archie they think he's soft. Obviously, I haven't done that, but I plan to after this match. <laughs> Lauren, I need you to immediately go over and tell Archie how soft he is and then report back to us, please. <laughs> I like how they're using <laughs> Lauren as their messenger now Lauren, Lauren, come over because here, come they over got here. penalized for cussing at him. And I want you so. to cuss at him when you do it. <laughs> That's great. Oh, man. Minute 29 and a two-point spread. It's going to take uh, not necessarily a miracle, but it's going to take a lot of things to go well here for New York Extreme just for them to tie this up with the time that we have left. It's going to take a miracle. Yeah. Billy Bernacci in the snake now. In New York with two in the snake, though. I like that. Yeah, well, Harris is the first to go. He's got Stetzel right behind him, and here comes Hennessy up the center. Here goes Harris. Harris is going to come through, and he's no one stopped him. I think he's going to get the kill on Archie. Archie. He yeah. does. A nice move by Harris Hussein. Billy Bernacci needs to go stab <laughs> Harris, and he does, but Stetzel's right behind him, and then it doesn't matter because that all that pressure went here towards the Harris, towards Harris, and then they're able to put run through and put that point up, attacking through that D side. So nice job by Rosati and Pat Kraft Jr., Stetzel and Harris. Beautiful fast and point here. And that was here. about a minute point, and they've got 55 seconds left. Yeah, so there's still a chance. So you're telling me there's a I, chance. I'm yes, I'm telling you that there is a chance. Six to seven. Wow. I mean, uh, just beautiful paintball being played this weekend. It's got to be super frustrating for these teams, too. Mm -hmm. You go out with the same game plan, the same squad, and have a completely different look. So let's look at this battle in the snake. There's Harris Hussein, who had just forced his way in there. Billy doing what Billy does. and But he did no idea that Stetzel was. Maybe he knew Stetzel Even was, if he knew, he still It doesn't do it. matter. He's got to get up there and, and make that move. Yeah, so what a just a beautiful job. But, but as that was going down, that D side got blown open by Alex Rosati and Pat Kraft Jr. Uh, and there goes Rosati. Stepping on that that buzzer and then getting checked out by the ref. Like, what? Yeah, I got a hits on me. Impressive, impressive paintball out here across the board. Lots of teams, man. 20 best teams in the world here at the NXL Pro Division. Well, Big so, point here. 13 yeah, seconds. That's ah, 13 seconds. Yeah, so my major time. penalty is the only thing we're, we're yeah. looking for. If the red flag goes in the air, then that's it. But other than that, I, I really think we're just going to see an overtime one point. On ones. That, that's Darren in the booth right now. One on ones. Yeah. One on ones. Well, the one on ones will, could be played if we get through an overtime period. But the way that this field's been playing, man, I, it, talk about a miracle. I think it'd take a miracle to get through five minutes. No, no, no we've, got the, we've got the 12 30 game schedule for one on ones. <laughs> Yeah, so so it looks like we're gonna have uh, the man, the our myth, boy uh, Nick Sloviak coming in here. He definitely has a game coming up, but he wants in, he gets in. So so let's check in with Lauren first, though. 
Thanks. Yeah, NYX is going after X Factor hard. Even Milo, who's on the sidelines, is yelling at Coach Ryan Brand, saying, stop buzzing it. You're leaving too much time on the clock. So they are definitely trying to get after X Factor right now. Yeah, well, this is ext when ex Extreme gets excited, it's fun to watch them play. Nick, how you feeling? Feeling good. We know we, we we're going to play uh, light pending. Yes. Uh, we're going to pay play trade my gun next. So it's dude, it's been a crazy match. What what yeah. are they talking about if we do run out of light? Seeing as how we're just it's a, it's a time morning. thing. No, I understand. No, I don't know. Okay, yeah. Ha ha, Rich. Ha ha. <laughs> hey, I haven't been here all day. Uh, it's I don't know. I'll let them figure it out. Okay. You know, Jason's got it under wraps. Yeah, I'm sure they, they have a system in place. So if, if it's going to get dark, uh, we won't play and we'll move on. So smart. Yeah. Oh, you know, I love this. I love NYX. I was like, I hey, Harris, too, man. Harris, I didn't hear you talking that much in our game. <laughs> what up, bro? <laughs> and he's like, yeah. Yeah, well, you guys you guys have looked really good out here, man. You had a really good win against New York Extreme. You had a great win against uh, your former team, San Antonio x Factor. You won a one-on-one -on -one against Archie. That must have felt pretty good. Yeah, I think I celebrated a little too much. You feel bad about it now? I saw that little well, so you like You did his six celly to him. Yeah, well. He six celly himself. So, like, that felt good. But, like, as soon as I, like, was in the moment. I was like, we, did, we haven't won. Like, hey, you know this what? field, the way this game plays against that team, I don't want this to come back in my face. So I was like, tighten it up, get off the field. <laughs> yeah, you know what? Enjoy yourself. When I you did. do something I good, did. have fun, enjoy yourself. Yeah. Move on. So it's a good thing you're saying that you did win that game. Well, right. Like, you know, that's going to come back to like, Yeah, you won a one-on-one, -on -one, but your team lost. Hey, you know yeah. what? Small but you guys victories. didn't lose. Small victory. Oh, right. Small well, I don't know. I'm taking it. Thanks, boys. <laughs> Love it. No, that's why we had you up here, bro. No, I'm just, hey, it's, you look you look comfortable in your new home. You're getting a ton of spins. You're playing really well. So that's no, it's been It's easy cool to, to do when you got four other guys out there that are playing really well, too. Welcome yeah, to all the guys in the squad are doing yeah, a good job. Well, it's been interesting, too. Uh, well, we got, we'll got we talk about that in a second, but we do have a very close game here. 55 seconds left to go. X-Factor only up by one now. Again, another high-scoring game. And it looks like Harris tries to get into the snake but gets clipped out. That's a huge kill for X-Factor. Is He's definitely a wrecking crew for him. Yeah, you know, the, the one thing I will say is Billy, you know, Billy did a good job of burning out here to the corner for X-Factor yep. and gets a good kill. Uh, I think he got a kill Crossfield. I thought he shot the guy. Maybe he didn't. But Harris, man, if you want to, if someone tells you something that you can't do, watch Harris play because yeah. that guy can go anywhere and play any spot, and he and he, well he gets it done. I think he took too big of a bite there trying yeah. to get into the like the snake. And here comes a big run through trade. He Good move somebody. by Rosati. He got he got uh, Rainy right before he went. Yeah. Oops. Oh, now a minor penalty going to be thrown on the Dorito yeah, player. That, that's going to do it though because there's just 16 seconds left. You see X Factor still doubling up that back bunker. Here goes Meter Nino. So he's going to try to get out wide as uh, looks like Hennessy coming off as well yeah. too. And now X Factor wants the spread and going to try to hit this buzzer. There goes Colt Roberts. Still looks real fast. Yeah, and he I does. think he got it in time. Yep. Ooh. Uh oh, we're going to see another penalty. Dude, they're yeah. going to throw Here a goes major. The major. Pat Craft. Dude. Meter just suckered uh, uh, Pat Craft into that major penalty right he there. He did. You know why? Because you're a dead player, dude. You're a dead player. He did. Well, he Pat, Pat's right. He did shoot the ground first. I right, but he's he a live player. I mean, yeah, he's fine. a live player. No, I, I, I agree with you. But, yeah, he's a live player, and he's dead, so that's a little I mean, bit of hey, a different story. If, if this was years ago in the millennium, like, I'd be rooting my gun, too. Like, hey, they're wrestling a gum and crud, are you? Like, yeah. that's one of those things. You can argue however you want. Yeah, well, it's the, the most important thing here is that it looks like X Factor is uh, going to be taking the victory. They do. Oh, but Harris is coming over and getting chirpy now. Uh, which is unusual. Yeah, strange. <laughs> strange. Well, you know what? Like okay. last match they played, he didn't say a word. So nope. you know, it is a little. He's a little up and down. Richter scale. All <laughs> off. But this is a big point, right? Here. This will be a big, a big set right here too. As we watch it, look so, at here's Meter shooting the ground. So Meter shooting the ground in front of Pat Kraft Jr. He's not actually shooting him, but he's a live player. And Kraft, so he was raising his gun, following Meter. Yeah. Well, we got to jump back into this next one here because this is an important game too. It's a overtime, overtime. point here, Rebel tied up game. Rebel. Both side. these teams need a win. I like this breakout by uh, Trade My Gun. They get to the snake corner, they play inside right away, they make the quick fill on the Dorito side, five guys up, coming heads up over here. Berkeley's got to stay alive for him. Yeah. The, the one thing I don't know if they're aware of, though, is Max Trailer's been killing it. In, the t in that town. Killing thing. it up there yeah. for Revo. Yeah. Matt, and they're getting some performances out of a couple different guys. Yeah. I don't like this, though. Haber gets into the snake looks one. Inside. And he looks inside, dude. Drives you got to know. They got to tell him there's no one down the tape, dude. Get low. Don't get shot in the pack. He came from the corner. He knows that there's no one in there. Yeah, but he's playing inside. He's been shot by Max Trailer. He does in the it face. every game. He, none of them look to go. He's got to go. So now he's going to play. He's just got to go. He's got to have faith. Yep. 
if there's not someone snaky crawly inside. Yeah, Grover's getting a little. Is that Gro no? It's uh, Berkeley. Berkeley's getting a little loose over here. He's got to tighten it up and know that Max, uh, Matt Jules in bad front of death. him. Bad death. Bad death in the center from Outlaws. Yeah, I think that's Jordan Davis. This is Jordan Davidson. Yeah. Getting shot. Four on four now. Yeah, Darula's gonna shoot. Darula's gonna shoot heads up and shoot. He's gonna shoot. Uh, the trailer's shooting the outside of the wing Berkeley. there. Berkeley. Yeah, Haber, Haber ripping a lane towards the D side, but now it's a four on four situation. So uh, yeah, it, the Outlaws love to squander high body situations. Yeah. This game would be over if, if Haber would have crawled all the way down the snake. Yeah. And he's normally super aggressive. I feel like if any of these guys watch Mouse or Spick or any of these other guys. Running Raf on the Dorito side. Uh oh, here goes the ref. Checking out the center player for Revo. So here Omar, we go. Omara. Watch. Oh, okay, he hit the bunker. He's still good. He's going to come up, shoot Max. Trailer the looks the other way. Wow, Max. bad timing for Trailer. So the problem now is that uh, Trip My Gun needs to get out wide and not let, let, not let Haber be on an island by yep. himself. Here comes the move. Good Berkeley move follows him up, as Nick says it. Yeah, so now Berkeley is behind Haber. He's in snake one, but Haber's way on to Revo's side of the field. Revo just trying to tighten up and stay alive. Yeah, Haber Haber's just needs to stay alive, dude. Just stay alive. Let, yeah. the, let the Dorito guys do some work now. Well, there goes another kill. Morrow comes off, so it's just Darul over here. And then here comes uh, Melching. Oh, it's Tapula. Tapula's been having a good uh, day uh, for them. Threw away his body and got the penalty. Come on, man. No way. He got a major? We'll see how many they pull. I didn't, did you see? Yeah, was it a red? Yeah, another one. Berkeley's still alive. Red. He Ber threw a red. He could have meant a yellow. Yeah, Berkeley's still So now still it's alive. a line one. Yeah, but Berkeley's yeah. picking up paintballs off the ground, it looks like. Oh, my gosh. Is Berkeley really picking Oh, my God. Is Something's going on. off the ground. How much time we got? Two, four, thirty-four. Yeah, he's shaking his hopper. The drill has got a full pack. Why would he come out here with no pots? He shot it all. I can't believe Haber dropped the ball yeah, that bad. Not, yeah. Dude, I, I wonder though. Like, I didn't see the hit. I don't know who would have shot him. Well, see who's going to win this one-on-one -on -one to win the game. Keep the te their team in the tournament here. Yeah, he, he keeps paint. reaching back there, hoping there's going to be a pod that he missed, but there's not one or back there. Or maybe hoping he finds like a glorious half-filled pod That's on the saying. ground. He keeps reaching That's back, hoping there's one he missed. He should have stayed in the back. Yeah, there's, there's plenty, plenty of pods back, back there. there. He's going to have to do a retreat. And, and you don't want to you don't want to go forward try to gunfight. You want him to try to run you if you're out of paint, so yeah. at least you trade with him. Yeah, just a tough break here for Berkeley. Doesn't have any paint. Doesn't look like... I mean, well... He's uh, got no paint to shoot yeah. at him. This He's is getting this, close. This stinks. Yeah. yeah, he doesn't have any balls left, I don't think at all. Yeah, and he finally gets shot, so. Darula. Nice job on that. Darula to step up here for Revo. Ooh, it was not looking good for Revo. Haber was all the way on their Ooh. side of the field. A penalty was thrown, that pulled out the attacker in the center, and that's going to give the victory here to that hurts. Baltimore Revo. Yeah, I'd love to see a replay of that, whatever happened in the snake with Haber. Because um, I wonder, I, I think Darula might have filled out and shot him, and then Haber continued to play. So let's check in with Lauren Kelly. Montemayor, congratulations on that win against NYX. NYX is <laughs> Hi, Jeremy NYX Song. is a uh, a unique breed. They <laughs> like to talk. They cause a lot of drama on the sidelines, on the field. Um, I think few people would ever argue that you are one of the best players in the world in the sport of paintball. But during that match, NYX specifically came over to me and asked me to come tell you that they think you're soft. So what's your response to that? They're professional talkers. I'm a professional paintball player. It's a big difference. That's a pretty good response. Speaking of your play, though, and your style of play, X Factor has seemed to struggle a little bit on this field layout. You guys had one loss yesterday. You are two and one, I believe, right now. Uh, how do you? What's going on in the pits and in your meetings uh, at this moment with this specific layout? Um, I mean, th th this layout is. I mean, you can see it's it's a kind of a weird layout. It's a lot of a lot of it is basically just whether or not you get lucky off the break, and we haven't been the luckiest team off the break so far. Um, we're obviously trying to change that, um, but I mean, so much is predicted on just one guy making the snake or not, and we haven't been making it, and other teams have been making it against us, so that's why some of our games have been a little more difficult. Um, but honestly, I mean, anything can change. It's not, it's not like a, you know, it's not set in stone at this point. We were talking about a Friday game we lost. I mean, we all know the tournament starts tomorrow, so I'm not even worried about it. We've got plenty to learn, just like every other tournament we ever play. Um, yeah, we had a little hiccup. Not a big deal. All right. Well, thank you so much, guys. Stay tuned. More coming up after the break. Look on the bright side. I'm taking it high. Look on the bright light. I'm losing my sight. I'm keeping it burning. 